Hey y'all, it's Mommy Wata and I am back. Thank you so much for your support of this channel. And let's hop right into this next download. Someone is experiencing extreme migraine, tension headaches. It's because of some sort of spell they tried to do on your crown chakra about a week ago. Is what I'm picking up here. And you know, I warn people not to send out nasty pestilences to other people, okay? But they're still doing it, and I mean, it's going right back to them. I've warned people this is not the Halloween season to try to get gully and go harder when it comes to spiritually attacking somebody because God was going to be making examples out of people who decided that they wanted to use this season to do that. Okay, that's not the reason for the season. I keep trying to tell people that. So somebody did some crown chakra magic on you and now they can't even see good. 111. So Holy Spirit, what would you like for us to know about this? Download this divine message, Holy Spirit. Most of all, what's the lesson here? The truth, the clarity that we need to receive in order to move forward move forward in a positive way, Holy Spirit. What is it that we need to know about this here? I'm talking about this person can't hardly see y'all. They can't even open their eyes because it hurts their head so bad. But this is a direct result of them trying to do crown chakra and block someone else's third eye, block what, what, somebody, else is, what somebody else knows and sees, okay? Because the crown chakra is what you know. So somebody was trying to stop you from knowing something. Whoever this five of swords energy is. Okay? But I'm telling you. They need to go get a shot in their ass at the hospital to make their head stop hurting. And stop walling around all on the bed and shit. Just go to the hospital. Okay? Y'all, that's what I'm hearing. I'm telling you. Let's see. Holy Spirit, what else would you like for us to know about this? Please and thank you. Page of Swords. This person wanted to block what you know. You be knowing. Okay, that's what this is giving me here. Page of Swords ain't just a spy. Page of Swords is somebody who is curious, who does their research, who going to find out the truth who gonna get on top of it, okay? And that's who you are. You might be some sort of psychic investigator, but you get justice, okay? For what you do, what you be doing. So if you know things, you use those things to help balance the scales in people's lives. Nine of Pentacles, you are a divine being because of the way that you operate not because it's really something about you, the way that you operate, the way that you choose to use this gift, use this curiosity, use this, this ability to get intel, okay? It's really given like you are a psychic investigator, you know, a, a social justice warrior. You do something like that. You let the truth be known. And it helps free people. It helps people get in alignment in their life. Okay? And somebody wanted to restrict you. A queen of swords and a king of cups. Here go this old crazy ass karmic couple, child. I just wish, Lord, that these karmic ass couples would stop messing with these divine beings. Holy Spirit, like I'm not understanding. And it always be this, this type of duo right here. A water sign and an air sign feminine. Okay, so these are the two people who've been trying to block your crown chakra. Okay, and these are also the two people who are current. Well, I know for a fact this Queen of Swords ass fucked up. That's who really is facing the crown chakra magic. That's who's who's really feeling the effects of what they sent out because that's who sent it out. This King of Cups, this is what I just heard. He don't do the magic. 
he influences this queen of swords, his partner in crime to do the magic because he knows what will happen if he spiritually attacks this nine of pentacles because he's taken that risk before, but it didn't get him the results that he wanted because he realized that whoever this nine of pentacles is, they do be known. They are high priestess and they are spiritually protected. Okay. So this King of Cups gave up on trying to spiritually attack this woman himself. I'm trying to tell you because it left his ass here, possibly with another third party who tried with him to do the same thing. Okay. So he, this Queen of Swords is stupid because she didn't let this man influence her to do magic on a Nine of Pentacles, High Priestess, Justice energy. Okay. So it's almost set in stone that whatever you send out to this person is going to come back to your ass, okay? See, he already knew that shit. I'm telling you, he called hell on earth, possibly was sick too, when he tried to attack this nine of pentacles in the past now. So he knew better. But he, he let this queen of swords set herself up for failure because that's who's in the Eight of Swords. Okay, this last little crown chakra spell shit they tried to do. It's got her fucked up. It don't got this Nine of Pentacles fucked up. This Nine of Pentacles mind is as sharp as ever. I'm telling you, Ace of Pentacles here lately been talking about the mind, the mentality, the sharpness of individuals. Okay, how on point they are. And that's how this Nine of Pentacles has continued to remain despite this crown chakra magic this Queen of Swords did. But that's why her ass in the bed, holding that damn head, I'm telling you, rolling, walling all over the bed. This King of Cups like, girl, he don't give a fuck about her now. Let's make sure we clarify that, okay? Because if he cared about her, he would not have set her up like he did, y'all. He knew what was going to happen nine times out of ten if she did this magic on this Divine Feminine. This Ace of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles here. And I'm talking about this woman need to go into the hospital and let them go and give her a shot in her butt to try to help ease that tension off her head. Because that's why she, she suffering. Because of what she did up under the moon and the damn stars about a week ago to try to stop this divine feminine from speaking the truth, from knowing what she know, from having knowledge and foresight. That's what she tried to do now. Her and this damn king of cups. But he was like, nah, baby, you go ahead and say the spell. I'm going to stand right here by you while you do it. You go ahead and, you know, speak the incantation over her. Because... I tried it already, and that shit had me fucked up. I got sacrificed like a motherfucker. So I already know what's probably going to happen in the future. Most likely, she's going to alchemize that energy we send it towards her and send that shit back in another form. It's going to, what she going to, I just heard this. Whoever this Nine of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles is, this King of Cups knows that she's an alchemist. He done watched her alchemize spell after spell after spell. This man had, may have it spiritually attacked this divine feminine between seven to eight times. And that eight time, eighth time is when he was like, fuck it. I ain't doing this shit no more because he got fucked up. It's out here. Okay. So he already knows she an alchemist. And he knows that this. Divine Feminine High Priestess is able to alchemize that negative energy, pull what she needs from it to create more abundance and stability in her life. And she send the rest of that shit back where it came from. Okay? So he know that about her. I mean, he really do not care about this Queen of Swords because I'm telling y'all, he knew what was going to happen. So maybe this Queen of Swords had some sort of vendetta and she was sure that she was going to 
bring this woman down. But again, this ain't the first feminine that this King of Cups has worked with this Queen of Pentacles High Priestess against. Six of Pentacles, okay? He didn't work with other women because that's falling right up under his energy. Clarify, Holy Spirit, please, and thank you. Five of Swords. So she just wanted to rust us, okay? Because he didn't have possibly about five other women who's helped him in the past attack this woman spiritually, and everybody was defeated. Everybody. So, you know, that could say a lot about this psychic investigator that despite their efforts, their, their fearlessness to fuck with this high priestess, despite the fact that he know what was going to happen to them, they were still doing it anyway. And that's why they asked was in the tower now. Because him and his queen of swords is in the tower now. This king of cups could be a Scorpio. These lovers... He, he chose him another flunky who he thought could compete with her. But I'm telling you, he already knew what was most likely going to happen, child. Because she is a what? An empress. He already knew nine times out of ten that shit wasn't going to work. That's why he let her do it. I'm telling you, he let her say it because he ain't want them burdens on him. He ain't want no burdens on his ass from speaking up some bullshit to the universe against this high priestess, divine feminine, okay? He didn't been there and did that, and he knew what was going to happen. So, you know, I don't know which person is listening out of this situation, but if this queen of swords is listening, baby, you might want to reconsider who you celebrating with and move on to calmer waters once you get up out of the hospital, because a light had been shined down on the fact that you should not spiritually attack this woman. But your quote-unquote man that you love so much lets you set yourself up for failure by attacking her. He knew what time it was. He knew that if you did that, you was going to get fucked up. Okay? Because she fucked up, y'all. I see it. I have seen it about three times. I just saw it again. It's really given, I'm not going to be able to go to work in a few hours because I cannot even, I ain't had no rest all night. My head been hurting all night. I done took Excedrin. I done took Advil. I done even took an aspirin. And my head still fucking hurting. Why is my head hurting like this? And this King of Cups already know the answer, child. He know. He ain't saying nothing, though. Mm -mm. That's why I say anybody that got you sitting up trying to attack the life of an ex-lover, 1331 of theirs, that person can't care nothing about you. They don't care nothing about you, honey. They don't care about you. They're using your energy to make things go in their favor with somebody else. Whether that's a good favor or a bad favor, they still using you to do something against somebody else that they ain't got over. And that's on period. And it leaves your ass here in the Five of Pentacles. Because in reality, this King of Cups want to reconnect with this high, high priestess now. Oh, he ain't going to tell her that. He might not tell nobody that. Because he know he ain't got a shot in hell with this world card. That karmic cycle has been completed between this King of Cups and this Queen of Pentacles High Priestess. He know he can't go back down that road, so he going to try to do this any way he can. But again, his Seven of Pentacles attempt to do this left his ass in the Three of Swords, the Five of Wands, and the Four of Swords, coupled with the Ten of Wands. Okay, so it's a lost cause. That's what I'm hearing. This is a lost cause. Continuing to spiritually attack this particular person, as long as this person remains in their divine purpose, 
and utilizes their divine abilities in the proper way, the way that is conducive to the most high God, this person is going to continue to be in that energy of alchemization. So when motherfuckers send shit to them, it's going bad after they pull whatever they need from it. Okay, 1515. Some people really know how to do that shit. You know, they're going to get what they need to get up out of that seven of cups energy that's being thrown to them. And they're going to alchemize it into an offer, an opportunity, love, purpose, something creative. Okay, this is somebody who know how to take that negative energy and make more money for herself. Because this Knight of Cups is falling right up under this Queen of Pentacles. And the Knight of Cups is can talk about creative expression. Well, temperance. I'm trying to tell you, be balancing that shit in a way that brings peace and harmony to her life. God be right there helping her alchemize it and utilize it. So, ooh, and the Holy Spirit says that's the truth. These victories that these five of swords energies keep attempting to have over this woman will be blocked every time. And what they wanted her to experience will be happening to them. Okay? Death falling right up under the tower. So, Holy Spirit, is this King of Cups going to be able to continue to sit in this Nine of Cups energy and use women to spiritually attack this woman? Will there be a turning point in his bold and erratic behavior with bust downs because he mad and want to cause some sort of loss for this ex-lover of his? What's going to happen to him? Because he's used, I'm telling y'all, he's possibly used up to five women five different women to spiritually attack this psychic investigator. And all of these women, y'all, all of these women have faced misfortune and loss. This queen of swords is the most recent woman. She the fifth woman. But all of them have gone through it as a result of calling up whatever spell or incantation Sending up that energy to the universe, to the ethers about this woman. Because the Four of Pentacles is falling right up under. The Page of Wands and the Knight of Wands is falling right up under the Ten of Wands. So every time one of them take this type of action against her, this is going to be their fate. Okay? Eight of Wands. That shit going to come right back at them so swiftly that they're not even going to know how to react or respond. And that's what's happening this morning. In the wee hours of the morning, this Queen of Swords ass been going the fuck through it because that shit got returned. That energy got returned to sender, y'all. I'm trying to tell you. That energy she sent out in a deceitful, deceptive way to this woman and went back to her ass. It still went back. All that energy. That shit searing her brain cells right now. Burning her eyes. She can't even stand the light. Uh, the amount of light that's in this room, this room would probably have to be pitch black, maybe with a TV on. This woman is suffering right now. But I'm telling you, she did it to herself. And she allowed this King of Cups to lead her down a very, very tumultuous path in life trying to do spell work on a divine being. Any man, it is nothing. I'm going to keep saying it because I keep picking up on these type of energies who keep doing this stuff, females in particular. So I'm going to say it again. It's nothing that a man should be able to convince you about another woman that would make you want to attack her on the physical or the spiritual realm. Okay? Especially if that woman is an ex-lover of that man. You don't, shouldn't want to have nothing to do with that woman or anything associated with her. You shouldn't even be wanting to talk about her with this man. Because all that's showing you is that he still is infatuated with her. Whether it's a good infatuation or a bad infatuation. Because he's using these women. And, you know, he's going to find him another flunky. Because this Queen of Swords is going to know after... 
she get done dealing with this illness, these migraines, that she not going to do nothing like that towards this woman anymore. She, This is going to teach her. Okay? It's teaching her right now. I'm telling you, she can't even open up her eyes. I just seen it on the Eight of Swords card. She can't even open up her eyes. She's extremely restricted. Cut the deck on the Queen of Swords, y'all. I'm telling y'all. He need to go and take her to the hospital. But he don't really give a fuck about her. Like, he been watching her suffer all night, y'all. These people domesticate together. He been watching this woman suffer all night. And you think this man love you? You think this man care about your best interest? Cut the deck on the Queen of Swords again. She must be damn listening, Holy Spirit. I don't know. But let's see. Let's see, Holy Spirit. What's going to be the outcome for this King of Cups, Scorpio, he, who keep using these women to spiritually attack this divine feminine? What's going to be the outcome for him? Please and thank you, Holy Spirit. Messages. What's the outcome for this King of Cups, please and thank you? The devil then came out here, child. I'm trying to tell you this motherfucker. Queen of Swords. She is realizing why she hurt because her man set her up for failure. This quote unquote King of Cups that she thought was going to be her emperor because see, that's how he sell it to him all child. He make them all think that he finna boss up and marry them or be in a, a commitment with them if they can do his bidding. If they can just get rid of this woman because she fucking with me. She keep bothering me. She keep trying to start stuff in my life. We got to get rid of her. If I'm going to be able to have any peace, we got to get rid of this high priestess, divine feminine. Bread crumbing the fuck out these hoes. Only to leave them here in the hangman. And this queen of swords has realized that shit. Now she realizing that while she thrashing about on the bed. Okay, that this man don't give a fuck about her. She done put herself in a position to get fucked up. And he over there sitting, chilling, carefree. Carefree now, innocent of the blowback she's facing because he knew better. And he set her up for failure. And I feel like she's coming to this conclusion right now. Right now, y'all. That this man don't fuck with her. She see it. She see it. She see it. Because if, if he fucked with her and they was in this thing together, why he ain't going through it? Okay, the math is starting to math for this queen of swords. She's starting to get it. If this is truly your divine masculine, he ain't going to have you out here doing no type of devilment. Let alone... Asking you to spiritually attack his ex-lover. He don't fuck with you. He used you. He sacrificed you. And that's what she's realizing. Because baby. That head space is so conflicted right now. It's like somebody fighting. They, It's like a whole turf war going on in her goddamn crown chakra right now. That's what she get though. I can't, I mean, ain't that much love in the world gonna convince me to spiritually attack no other woman. It ain't that, it, that ain't love. That's the devil. That's what she realizing. Anything else here, Holy Spirit, please and thank you. Any final messages? What's gonna be the outcome for him? We ain't seen that yet. I'm telling you. It's because he knows the law. He know the laws of the universe. He knows that if he ain't send it out, it ain't coming back to him. He didn't learn that lesson. Because I'm telling you, I'm not picking up where he going to face any type of blowback from what she did because he didn't do it. Seven of Pentacles. He didn't sow them seeds. I'm telling y'all, he didn't try it before and got fucked up. So he know not to even put himself in a position when it comes to this spiritual warfare and these lines of study against this high priestess. 
he know what's going to happen if they do that magic against her. He just still on some kind of kick, like maybe he'll finally find a feminine who can defeat her. But any feminine that's vibrating in that type of energy ain't never going to be able to defeat this divine feminine high priestess. They vibrating too low. That shit ain't going to fuck with her. For the type of work this person does that I'm picking up on, she vibrate too high. To have that type of insight that she has, she vibrating too high. So this bullshit that these type of karmic energies shoot at towards her, it go back to them because she ain't even on that level. That they on spewing that spiritual warfare. Okay? So he, you know, star. This could be an Aquarius feminine. You know, he just finna sit up and have to watch her heal. He might help her. He probably gonna take her to the hospital. She ain't asked. That's what I just heard. Because she know what she did too now. She can't go in the hospital and be like, my head hurting because I did some spell work on somebody else's head, they brain, they crown chakra to fuck them up and this thing came back to me. She can't go to the hospital and say that. Three of Cups. All to be able to kick it and celebrate with this King of Cups. Child boo. Child boo now. She, she thinking back now on the delight that she experienced with this man. But is it worth the pain and the healing that she's currently having to face? Anything else, Holy Spirit? Ace of Wands, this woman going to be going in a new direction. She already wearing her options, honey, because it ain't worth the stress, child. This King of Cups ain't worth the stress that she feeling right now in her temple, in her cranium. And as soon as she get herself reacclimated, this woman is finna move on from this man. She finna go and find her new emperor because the Ace of Wands falling right up under this emperor card. She see this man ain't a bit more divine than the damn man on the moon. Because is there a man on the moon? No. She, he, he ain't divine, damn it. And she see it. And she give it up on his ass because this is crazy right here. He got her ass in the tower. Tower here twice. Five of Pentacles. This woman sick this morning. But it's her fault because she took this bold ass, bold ass step towards this high priestess. And it's got her here in here on this good Friday morning. OK, this real time here, this is currently happening to this karmic couple who swore that their love was going to defeat this divine feminine child boo. What love? Because that's one thing we ain't seen out here. It ain't no love. It's a lot of lust and passion and possibly sex magic between these two people. But it ain't no damn love. Because this man don't love these hoes. He don't even love himself. Anything else. Eight of Cups. And he might... Eight of Cups, her ass, before she can six of swords him. Okay. Because he see that she a bust. He see he that she ain't got the abilities to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with his ex. And so, you know, he going to look for another flunky. That's what it's looking like. But, you know, part of his penance is that he ain't never going to be happy. Because his his crown, his chakra, is consumed with this woman, this ex-lover. And until this man heals from whatever trauma he burying deep inside to fuel these behaviors he's exhibited, he gonna be miserable. That's his fate. That's his karma. He ain't never gonna be happy with nobody. He constantly gonna be trying to look for women who are low vibrational, five of pentacles energies who would be willing to do spell work for him. I mean, that's a miserable life in itself. There, There's nothing peaceable or harmonious or even happy about living in that energy. 
So, you know, that's what I'm hearing. Is this, is this King of Cups karma? He ain't got no peace of mind. He's fixated, obsessed with this high priestess empress. And that's got to be some sort of turmoil in itself, okay? And I'm dropping the mic there. I'm dropping it. I hope this message helps someone. I hope it gives you insight and guidance on how you should move forward. But always remember, y'all, if it doesn't apply, please let it fly. Take only what resonates, leave the rest, and I'll be back soon with another one. Peace, y'all.